Hi everyone, Ian Coates here for Bimming with Confidence. Uh, we're trying a new slot today where, where we're going to do like a video uh, review of, of a new technology that I've found out here and I'm pretty excited about. So let's, uh, let's kind of dive in and let's talk a little bit more about it. Uh, it's Cloud PC basically, it's from Citrix. Uh, you probably know Citrix from GoToMeeting, uh, they manufacture that. So uh, it's a pretty neat technology. And the idea is that it's a, a PC that's based in a server farm somewhere. Uh, it could be anywhere, it could be Idaho, it could be your backyard. But it's infinite computing power as well because all of these, these PCs based there, they can have multiple RAM, they can have all sorts of CPU power, everything like that. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna harness that not on a laptop or a desktop machine, but on this tiny little iPad Pro here that I've got. So if you want a camera, if you want to come round, uh, we'll talk a little bit about just the process of getting it involved, getting it installed and getting it running on here. So you install the Citrix receiver app on your iPad and you go to your company website where they set that up. We've got a special address here for it. Um, and what you do is you just go ahead and, and log on there. Now it's a it's a two step verification code, so I have to have to type a, a verification code in here. So that's going to be give me two seconds so I get this correct, uh, and we log in right. So we can look at there. So uh, so this this is going to launch the Citrix receiver app, or it's going to launch a web page that gives me the Citrix receiver app on here, and it will give me access to my cloud PC. So like I said, really cool, um, giving me access to this stuff. Um, but it's also given me other options as well. It allows me to travel really light and it allows me a backup as well. So say I'm testing some software and I'm tweaking some settings and doing, doing some things like that. Um, and then I, I find that I've broken something or I've ch changed a setting and then I have to go and show the software to a customer and we have problems with it. This gives me a backup that I can then jump to a clean or completely fresh install at any time. So what you can see on screen now is, I've got a web page open at the moment, but uh, if I just minimize these apps, uh, let's minimize all this stuff here. I'm working on a Windows desktop. Um, it's Windows 10 and you can see there, there's my, my start menu if it's called that now, a taskbar. Um, my recycle bin. This is a typical Windows system. It's all running on my cloud PC, but I've got one really neat piece of kit here and it's something that you don't normally think of when you're using an iPad. Obviously with iPad you expect gestures and all sorts of things and touching the screen and all of that. And I've got the typical iPad, uh, the Apple keyboard on here, which is pretty neat, the smart keyboard as well. But what the real piece of technology that allows me the flexibility is the Citrix X1 mouse. It's about $60. It only works with Citrix X1 receiver. So it doesn't have to, it's not like you can just go into the store and buy any particular mouse or anything like that and just pair it with your iPad. It has to be that Citrix mouse to work with Citrix receiver. And if you look on screen again, um, you can see there that there's a pair option up here. And uh, I've already got it paired, but, uh, but there's a pair option up here. You must pair it from within the Citrix receiver app. It's not a regular Bluetooth mouse, so don't go to your settings in your iPad. But the benefit here is that once you've got that mouse running, you've got full flexibility in Revit, for example, to zoom, pan, uh, you can rotate. You can see there are a little bit of screen lag there. But, uh, but you can see there, zooming in, and able to just, just work with the model, rotate that model around, and do anything you need to do on there uh, to add any details or connections or anything like that on there so really powerful piece of kit it allows me to use my uh, ipad as a thin client accessing some really powerful uh, computing power now of course it relies on fast internet connection um, i've got a uh, fiber line here that gives me a gigabit per second which is really cool um, but i've even tested it on an lte line like uh, tethered to from my cell phone and it, it works okay i wouldn't like to do a modeling of the Freedom Tower or something over this, but uh, but it would certainly be enough to do some tweaks, say you were out on site refining a design or something like that. Uh, you get some really neat tweaks. The other thing that I've purchased to make this, this whole suite of, of goodies really cool is this little projector from Optima. Um, it's a tiny little thing, but it really packs a punch. Um, it does about 500 lumens, so it needs, it needs a fairly dark room, but it's pretty neat, um, but it's really light, really small. 
and I just hooked that up to my iPad through one of these and an HDMI cable or something like that. And, uh, and then what I can do is I can then share my screen with everyone on site and uh, uh, where we, we figure out an RFI or we sort a design solution or something like that. So really mobile, uh, really secure and also really versatile as well and really, really gives me a backup and some redundancy as well in the technology. So that's it, hopefully you enjoyed this uh, review. Hopefully it helps if you've got a Citrix PC, this helps you set it up as well. Um, if there's any questions about it or any more information you want, please leave feedback in the comments section of this page. And, uh, and thanks for watching.